Hi everyone, welcome to week six. Okay, so in week six, we are going to be drafting another contract. This contract involves um, a construction situation with a homeowner. So it's gonna be um, a contract where you have two parties, the construction company and a homeowner, and you are going to draft all the terms that you think should be in that contract. And if you look at the assignment, you'll get even more specific information. Um, we did receive a little practice in that during week four when we drafted the contract, um, the performance contract, the string quartet example. Um, the difference there is that we were really focusing on the non-performance clause there, whereas here we're focusing on all the contract terms. Um, we did draft all those contract terms, or at least most of you did, um, in week four, so I do think that this week six assignment will almost be a bit of a review. I would go back to the comments I gave you on week four and um, look at that sample I provided to you on those comments, and that's a good starting point. But, um, you know, it's obviously it's a little bit of a different situation. That was a performance contract for a string quartet whereas this is um, a construction of a home. So um, make sure you think through all of the different terms that both parties would, parties would want in a contract. Um, make sure you don't forget things like the signature line and the title, the date, the names of the parties. Um, go back to our past lectures and make sure that you have um, all the standard contract terms like maybe um, force majeure or um, choice of law, things like that that we learned over the last few um, weeks in the lecture materials. So if you can go and do that, that would be great. Um, if you have any questions as you draft the contract, please reach out to me. Keep in mind, as we've discussed several times, contracts should be unambiguous as possible. They should try to predict different possibilities and outcomes. The clearer and less ambiguous your contract is, the, the less of a chance there will be of costly litigation because if something goes wrong or there's a breach, then both parties can just look at the contract and um, hopefully that will determine what happened as opposed to having to go to court to figure it out. So that would be your goal is to make it clear, unambiguous, and have it account for all different types of, of things that could go wrong. Okay, and again, if you have questions, please let me know. We do not have a discussion board this week. So um, that gives you a little more free time to work on this contract. And also, if any of you have any zeros in your grade book, this would be the perfect week to catch up because we don't have a discussion board. So you could work on the contract and then um, work on any missing assignments. I will still accept missing work, but um, it's getting towards the end of the class. So if you're going to submit, this would be the time to do it. Okay, thanks again. And if you have any questions, reach out. Bye.